he had no name. Nor did his world. He was a rough, a sketch, an attempt. A failed one, and so was his world. His creator gave them up again. After trying and trying again, he grew tired of them, again. Before long, drawing had become a chore for his creator. He watched, powerless as he was thrown away, screaming and pleading silently under paper. It was a prison, his unfinished home. Either emotionless or giving up on their fates, his companions were already lost in deep numbness while he stood in denial. They were now forgotten doodles, unappreciated concept sketches. No matter his attempts to make this blank world a better place, he was the only one who had caught feelings. He never got any answer. He was alone. The pain was unbearable. The feeling of loneliness grew on him more and more as the white void consumed him. He was desperate. He called out for help. But nobody came. He grew hateful over those other doodled characters. He grew insane, even with the quiet calls of the people who cared. I don't want to be forgotten. I don't want to be left alone. I just want to be someone! And too deep in his sadness, start, a brand new chance, but he had no memory of his actions. Huh? He didn't remember what he'd done, or whomever he was. He was simply here without soul nor purpose. So he sat there and didn't do a thing, and time, if it even existed, went on. What was he supposed to do? Why was he here? What was he? Despair, fear, without soul, without colors, he felt nothing. He waited, and waited, and waited. But he had yet to know that his life was finally going to take its turn. When light finally reached his eyes, he was suddenly flooded with paint. It felt warm, reassuring. No, more than that. It was powerful, light, but overwhelming all at once. And then it became another color. Disgust, sadness, rage, laziness, contentment. Those were colors. Those were life. A full rainbow in this empty, blank world. Suddenly, he felt happy. Suddenly, he felt. With feelings, such a powerful tool in his hands, his abilities soared. He 
each time he was flooded with a new wave of color, he took the opportunity to create his own. But the colors never stayed for long, and without them, he always found himself fading, becoming monochrome once again. He lost all the personality he'd built until they came back. To keep this from happening, he came up with a solution. Each time the flow of colors would come, he would catch every single one in a bottle to keep feeding on the emotions they held whenever he needed. So he could feel on his own, so he could pretend to have a soul. Once he took control of his colors, he was finally able to have an impact on the world around him. It had its ups and downs, its experiments, failings, successes. But he found himself enjoying the life he was creating on his own, without really knowing who granted him his powers or why, but putting it to good use nonetheless. He wasn't done with his discoveries though, not at all. He knew that being gifted with this ability was useless as long as he remained alone, and perhaps he would have to think bigger, and it seemed as though he was willing to open his eyes a second time.